Internet. My name is Abby and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program on Wings. The new crew for the asteroid station is about to arrive and in preparation for their arrival I have to free up at least one of the two docking ports of the asteroid station. The first of the two Kerbonauts who will leave the asteroid station is Jonsky Kerman who is looking forward to fly back home to Kerbin and so he can now go on a short EVA to access his spacecraft and also to inspect for the last time the asteroid station. Wow, that's so cool, that's so cool. I'm all the time so amazed by this great piece of technology being attached to this huge piece of rock orbiting around the moon and it's also so cool to see the shadow of Jonsky Kerman on the solar arrays. And well then, I'm also so amazed we are currently directly above the terminator of the moon and we can see all the different craters of the moon and wow, that's so amazing and it's also such a stunning view to see the small little Jonsky Kerman in front of the moon and he's really enjoying his ride and he is so happy to be a space flyer and yeah, so. But now he has, while he is enjoying the view over to Kerman, to access his spacecraft and to board his spacecraft so that he can prepare all the systems and then finally undock from the asteroid station. Okay, he is now approaching the hatch of his spacecraft. Easy, easy. And grab, very good, and board. Okay, he is now sitting inside the spacecraft and he is preparing his departure so we can now use the time to enjoy the stunning view out of the cupola. Wow, that's so amazing, that's so great. I'm so glad that I've installed the cupola to the asteroid station. That's so cool. Okay, I think Jonsky Kerman has prepared his spacecraft. So now he can undock from the asteroid station. He can start the systems and he can start to drift away from the docking port to free up the docking port and then he can also perform a short RCS impulse toward the uh, prograde vector so that he can drift away from the asteroid station and well that he is not in danger of running into the asteroid station uh, once he's performing his maneuver to fly back home. And wow, this is such a stunning view to see once again this great piece of technology being attached to this rock and also to enjoy the view back home to Kerbin. Wow, that's so cool, that's so amazing. And okay, I have now to prepare his maneuver and well, I like to perform the maneuver before the arrival of Orbital Ship 4. So maybe around here, yeah, I think this should be way before the arrival of Orbital Ship 4. Okay, he is now 293, 32. Oh, this is pretty good. Maybe I have to adjust a little bit later his trajectory, but 32 kilometers is pretty good. Okay, maneuver is prepared. And now I can turn the spacecraft a little bit around so that the solar arrays are facing towards the sun and recharging the batteries. I can switch off SAS to save some energy. And okay, Jonsky is now a little bit sad as he is drifting away from the asteroid station. And now I can do a quick time warp. But I need to be very careful that I'm not overshooting because overshooting doesn't only mean to miss the right moment to perform the burn, but also means that I'm then missing the right moment to perform some burns or some maneuvers with my orbital ship 4 to arrive at the asteroid station and this would be really problematic. And yeah, so I need to be very careful. We have Kerbin Rise, that's cool. Only 25 minutes and I think over there is Kerbal Space Center. There is the continent of Kerbal Space Center. That's cool. We can enjoy the view over to Kerbal Space Center. That's so great. Okay, only five minutes to go until I can perform the burn. So I can activate the engines in preparations for or in preparation for the maneuver. Very good. Okay, and we are 44 
4 kilometers away from the asteroid station. Orbital ship 4 is over there. I can enable SAS and I can aim for the maneuver node. Okay, very good, very good. Everything is prepared. I can do another quick time warp to get a little bit closer to the maneuver node. Oh, what do we have over here? In 79 kilometers is the orbital ship 4. So we have now an indication for our asteroid station and the orbital ship 4. That's cute, that's cute. Jansky is enjoying this. And well, we are also shortly before orbital sunset around the moon. That's so cool. That's really cool. Can we even enjoy this before I'm performing the burn? Well, I think I will perform the burn just before orbital sunset. That's cool. Okay, I can now perform the burn. Jansky is now returning back home to Kerbin. I think he is pretty happy about this as he is now flying back home. That's cool. And indeed, this is the continent of, Kerbal Sp uh, of the Kerbal Space Center and somewhere over there is the Space Center. That's a great view back home. Okay, just a few meters per second and cut the engine. So what have I done? I can... 37 kilometers. I think I will just continue a little bit the burn. And 28 kilometers. That's good. That's good. So, Dronsky has begun his journey back home. The sun is about to set. That's a great view. That's really a stunning view. Okay, and... Do we have sunset? Well, the, the only sad thing is that I have to arrive with Orbital Ship 4 in the shadow of the moon. That's sad. But I have installed many lights on the asteroid station, so it should be no problem. And okay, I can now switch to Orbital Ship 4 and the new crew of the asteroid station, Robo Kerman and Lembro Kerman, are now only 16 kilometers away from their target. And well, they are now in the complete darkness. So where is their... The vectors. Okay, they are directly flying towards their target. This is amazing. So I don't need to change the trajectory. I just need to slow down a bit. So I think at first I will slow down to maybe 100 meters per second as relative velocity. I'm only 11 kilometers away from it. Very good. Okay. I can now cut the engine. Very good, very good. And there in... Oh, it's approaching fast. There is Orbital Ship 4 with Stronsky on board. We can enjoy the beautiful view over to Kerbin. That's cool. Okay, there is Stronsky. We are only 8 kilometers away. Soon the, we should be able to see the lights of the asteroid station. That's cool. Okay, only 7.5 kilometers. I think I can reduce the velocity a, a little bit more, maybe to 50 meters per second or so. And cut the engine once again. Okay, only 16 kilometers. He's getting quite close, but I think um, we won't have any issues with Dronsky spacecraft. Okay, 5.8 kilometers, getting closer, 14.6. I can perform a quick time warp as I'm getting closer. 13 kilometers. Okay, now the distance is increasing. That's good. Okay, 3 kilometers. 2.5 kilometers. And now we can see a bright dot. The bright dot is the asteroid station. And well, unfortunately, we are approaching it in the darkness. But well, on the other hand, it looks a little bit more spectacular to see the asteroid station in the darkness and to see this bright dot becoming bigger and bigger as we are getting closer to it. Very good, very good. Robo and Lembro are a little bit concerned about their arrival. Oh, only 600 meters. So I think I can now reduce their velocity to maybe 10 meters per second. Okay, very good. Okay, and we are... 
Um, I think uh, the, the rock, the asteroid, is facing towards us. It's really hard to see. It's really dark. I'm sorry for this, but soon we will be in the light of the asteroid station. And we can still enjoy the beautiful view back. And okay, there's the asteroid station. That's a cool view. That's a great and stunning view. Okay, I think I should now come more or less to a stop. That's a great view. And I'm so glad that I have installed the lights. Now we can really see what is going on. That's that's great. That's, that's definitely great. Okay, our docking port is down there. I can already set this as my target. Very good. Okay, now I need to come to a stop. I can now use RCS and uh, the docking mode. Okay, at first I need to rotate around and well, maybe I should really come to a stop. No, I think I will at first really fly down or toward the maneuver node. Um, no, this is the wrong orient rotation. Okay, I like now to fly a little bit in this direction. Okay, then I need to. Turn this way. Okay. Oh, they are they are pretty excited and pretty scared, Robo and Lemro, as they are about to dock to the asteroid station. Okay, they are now approaching. Okay, now I need to come to a stop. Oh, I'm quite fast, I'm quite fast. Okay, very good. Now I can rotate around to aim for the docking port. Okay, like this. I'm a little bit off target, so maybe I should fly a bit in this direction at first. To align my spacecraft with the docking port. Okay, this looks good. Now it's time to come to a stop. Okay, now, um, well, I'm not really happy with my current position. I think, I think I need to fly a little bit this way. Okay, this is much better. This is much better. Easy, easy. Okay, and come to a stop. Oh no, I'm now flying back. I now like to turn to the dock towards the docking port and, okay. I think I'm a little bit out of practice with the docking maneuver. This looks a little bit strange what I'm doing here. I, huh, okay. Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. And we are docked, we are docked. We are now docked with the with the asteroid station. Okay, very good, very good. So Robo and Lembro have arrived at the asteroid station. That's cool. That's amazing. That's really great. Okay, it's a little bit wobbly, but I hope it will stabilize. Uh, maybe I have to switch off the reaction wheels of the of the spacecraft, but we will see. Okay, um. Robo and Lembro will, for safety reasons, remain at first inside their spacecraft and we can now perform a quick time warp to get into the... back into the daylight. Okay, we are back in the daylight. And here. The new crew has arrived. That's good, that's good. So, um, Sidram Kerman can now... Can I? How do I? Okay, I, oh, no, no, it's working. He can now transfer to his capsule. Okay, Sidram so Kerman is now sitting inside his capsule. And uh, Robo and Lembro Kerman can now um, perform also the transfer over to the asteroid station. Um, transfer. Lembro or Lembro will get into 
the hitchhiker storage container and Robo will... where's the hatch? Which is over there and Robo... Robo will um, transfer to the... to the cupola. Okay, Robo Kerman is now sitting inside the cupola. Very good, very good. Okay, and the crew has arrived. The crew is now sitting inside the asteroid station and now it's time for Sidrim to leave the asteroid station and to finally return back home to Kerbin so he can now undock, very good I can now switch over to Sidrim oh, he can't use RCS, I remember the spacecraft was constructed before the the last patch or before the couple traits were implemented and yeah now I have to deal with this very agile spacecraft without reaction or without SES this is not easy okay he can now also perform a quick burn or quick maneuver with his RCS thrusters to drift away from the asteroid station. Okay, goodbye asteroid station. The new spacecraft is stock to it. The new crew has arrived at the asteroid station and the old crew can start the journey back home. Okay. Orbital ship 3 is on its way to leave uh, the sphere of influence of the moon and Sidrim can now do the same thing he can now perform a burn to fly back home to Kerbin. Um, and he will perform this maneuver over here, 39 kilometers, 38. That's pretty good. Okay, Sidram's maneuver is prepared as he is drifting away from the asteroid station. A last view back to his last home or to his home or for the last weeks or so. And okay, we are now drifting away from it. Goodbye, asteroid station. This was nice. This was really nice. Okay, we are now drifting away from it. And I can speed up a little bit more. We are already three kilometers away from it. And getting closer to the to the maneuver node and Kerbal Space Center is now getting uh, towards the, the nighttime side of Kerbin. So they will have nighttime while or sunset while um, Sidrim is now wrestling with the uh, spacecraft to keep it stable while oh, he needs to activate his engine. Okay. Now easy, I hope I can perform the burn so that he's able to... Oh! Okay, uh... Whew, I was scared, I thought I I was out of fuel, but I have just... Uh, cut the, the fuel lines, okay, this is good. Okay, now I can perform the burn and... Easy, 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 Ooh, cut the engine. Don't tumble out of control. Okay, this is not so easy to control this old spacecraft from the times before the, the Kerbal Trades. Okay, he is currently at 59 kilometers, so just a small burn to lower a little bit more of the periapsis. 31, okay, very good. We are almost there. 28, 26, okay. Sidrim is also now on his way back home. Very good, very good. And yeah, I think we will now join Orbital Trip 3 once again because it's now on its way back home. I like to switch to it. Okay, Jonski Kerman on his way back home. And uh, well, I think. Yeah, I think he will land on the shadow on the nighttime side of Kerbin. Uh, that's sad. That's a little bit sad. Um, I would really love to, to land on the daylight side. Um, yeah, we will see. Maybe I can get to the daylight. I'm not quite sure. We will see. We will see. Uh, so I can now perform a time warp to 
return back home. Okay, Jonski is enjoying his ride as he is falling back home to Kerbin. Rakel, Rakel. Okay, there's Kerbin and we are now getting closer to orbital sunset and we are now in the shadow of Kerbin. He can now turn his spacecraft around so that he is facing towards a retrograde vector. Okay. I can continue the time warp. Come on. Okay. We are in the complete darkness. That's really sad. Okay, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I don't think that we will be able to see the, the daylight. But well, this makes the, the re-entry at least a little bit more spectacular when we can see the re-entry effects. Okay. He should hit the atmosphere pretty soon, and indeed, he is now hitting the atmosphere. Wow, that's cool. Jansky is now returning from the asteroid station. He is finally coming back home. Okay, a good re-entry, and here yeah, the horizon is still dark, so I don't think that we are able to see the sun. That's really sad. That's 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 so sad. Uh, we can well enjoy him from the inside, but unfortunately, oh, he can see some of the hot plasma through the windows. But unfortunately, he has only this commander seat down here without windows. This is really sad, so he is not able to uh, see what is going on on the outside. But oh, whoa, what is this? What is this? This is a bright view. This is definitely a bright view. Okay, we see some some mountains at the horizon. And the G forces are okay. Okay, he's still very first as he is falling back into the atmosphere of Kerbin. That's really a hot re entry. Okay. So. He's about to return back home to Kerbin. Very good, very good. And okay, there. Re entry effects are still very hot as he's falling down. Okay. Wow, it's taking really long time to lose this, this velocity as he's returning from the moon. We are down to 19 kilometers and still we can see the re entry effects. Okay, very good. Um, I like to try once again to. Um, to keep the the monopropel and the engines and all the things attached to my spacecraft so that I can have some more refunds. Okay, I think uh, we are now falling down. We can do a quick acceleration as we are getting closer. And we are falling down, we are falling down. Very good. Okay. Now, I think I can turn the spacecraft around. The radar altitude starts to move. I can pop the chutes. Okay, the chutes should be now by, uh, should be now open. It's really hard to see. Can no, we can't spot anything from this point of view. It's really sad. And soon we are 500 meters, and the chutes. Yeah, the chutes have opened, and the approach velocity is a little bit high. So I have to throttle up before I will land on the surface, so I need to monitor the radar altimeter. I can use some time warp to speed up the descent. Okay, now I need to use my engines. Five meters per second. Okay, this is a nice descent rate. Very good, very good. Just a few meters, just a few meters. And Cut the engine. Okay. I hear some strange noises. Apparently, something broke off. Yeah, something broke off. Our, our, our docking port broke off, but uh, the, the other parts of the ship are in good shape. That's good, that's good. So, this was a nice splashdown. Only the a small part failed. That's good. Okay, I can now recover Jonsky Kerman. Very good.
Okay. Um, recovery of a vessel returned from orbit around the moon. No signs. Pearls, we were 1,223 kilometers away from Kerbal Space Center. So, um, 20 parts, one resource recovered. At least we got 6,000 funds back. Okay, uh, this is not very much, but we got something back. And wow, Jonsky Kerman gained 3 XP. That's cool. Okay, Jonsky gained 3 XP. And I like to... Um, there is Sidorum's capsule. I like to enable the debris because I like to... Uh, where is it? Down here. I like to recover this part as well. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, Dronsky is still on its way back home and I think we will see the arrival of... No, not Dronsky. We will see the arrival of Sidrum in the next episode. I hope you liked this and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby. See you!